<laughs> and finally, okay, and, and your name again? My name is Gene Davis. And I'm the Director of International Trade in North Carolina. Wow. And what does that mean, Gene? So basically, our job is to help small and medium-sized companies uh, expand their sales of products and services into global markets around the world. Really? So, so whether product or service, you help them get money from overseas clients? That's right. Yep. I mean, during this tough economy, most yeah. of our sm small businesses have done really well by increasing their international sales. And oftentimes, it's not easy for small companies to get started. And that's where we help them with services and with grants. Really? Grants? You know that magic word? Man, say, <laughs> Groucho Mark, say the magic word, win $100. <laughs> You're not old enough to remember that. <laughs> no kidding. So how do you help? I mean, so, so if I'm a small business in North Carolina, and, and yet there's similar services right around the country. Yes, most states have uh, uh, export assistance that they give to small businesses, correct. So yep. if I'm sitting there, hey, my market, uh, I want to get on the action uh, of the world, what, what do they do? What do they do Absolutely. first? So, so I have a whole staff here in North Carolina uh -huh. that travels out every day, meets with companies in their industry sectors. Wow. And has specific you, meet, you go out and meet with people? We do. We drive out and meet you wow. at your client site so we can understand what your product is or what your service is and what you're trying to do. Uh, and then we help with lots of things like uh, market research. So should I be selling to Brazil or should I be selling to China? Wow, uh, no kidding. Should, should I hire a distributor or should I hire a sales agent? Um, what do free trade agreements mean for me? So do I, do, does the free trade agreement that we have with um, Colombia and Panama now help me with um, getting my product into that market? Wow. No kidding. So you eliminate all the mystery. I mean, and these people, I'm sure there's consultants out there with fancy degrees charging a lot of money for this. <laughs> there, there, there are. And I mean, we have a really great network uh, of, of lawyers and accountants and other uh, resource people that are there to help our companies. But we kind of bring the resources together. And all of us came from a business background. So I in my see. case, um, I was in the pharmaceutical industry. I had a company that expanded all around the world using the government services. Uh, and so we all have an industry background where we can really help our clients to expand those markets. So you came for you had a business that really used services like you're providing to help your clients <laughs> make money overseas. That's right. So I called the North Carolina Department of Commerce, said I'm a small 80 person company trying to get more work overseas. I said, what can you do for me? And they took me on a governor's trade mission. No they helped kidding. me o open an office in Singapore. They helped me make the contacts. They helped me uh, understand uh, all the uh, regulatory requirements. And uh, we were very successful wow. overseas. And what did they ch charge you? Uh, that's they charge me nothing. That, that, <laughs> oh, <laughs> tax, taxpayer dollars uh, are are in place uh, for these programs to help uh, help North Carolina companies because when companies expand overseas, that means they're growing jobs yes. and business right here at home. No, I mean the same way. That's how China grew growing that's selling right. overseas, right? So we got to learn that game again. That's right. Yep. <laughs> and I just saw the figures. I think came out today that you know they're they're still increasing our exports. Yeah. Absolutely. So you yeah. guys are doing a great job. Yeah, that's what we say. That's right. Yep. During this tough, uh, kind of slow U.S. economy, yeah. our small companies that are selling overseas have added jobs and are constantly wow. growing because of those overseas sales. Right. So that's yeah. where their growth is coming from in North Carolina Excellent. because of yeah. you helping folks sell overseas. We're doing our best. <laughs> well, that's right. Now I have to talk to you to run for governor. <laughs> Well, no. So you mentioned grants. What kind of grants is it? What, what, what are they? So doing? right now we have a fantastic program through the through the SBA. Oh, you sound like an infomercial here. Right? I know. <laughs> through the SBA, and it's called it's called the Step Grant, which stands uh -huh. for State Trade and Export Promotion. And so it is a it is a program for a qualified small business that uh -huh. does all kinds of great stuff. So for example. Say you're a company trying to um, sell your product in China. We can translate all your website, your no marketing kidding. material into Chinese so you're ready to get into that market. Wow. No kidding. Wow, that's, that's terrific. That's great. If you're someone that wants to learn about um, new markets, we're running a whole bunch of export education, like Export University and Export Eye Openers. You can come along to a free training, understand, get trade leads from whatever market you're interested uh -huh. in and understand how to uh, go to market in those foreign places. 
Then we have um, gold key services. So say you decided, uh, I want to go to Brazil. I want to investigate finding a distributor down there. Mm -hmm. We have money uh, for travel grants. So that okay. is a travel grant that pays for your airfare and your hotel to go wow. to a trade show or a, a, a event or, wow. or, or a client meeting to help um, yeah. get you into that market. Wow. God, <laughs> why doesn't yeah. everybody know about this? <laughs> it's the truth. And when you think about it, for many of our small companies, I know a, a plane trip to Brazil might be $2,000. Yeah. The hotel might be another $1,000. So $3,000 that we can give you a grant. Absolutely. You're down there. You're in the market. We have an office there. And so, for again, oh, for free of charge, yeah. our consultant down there is picking you up at your hotel, taking you to client meetings, wow. taking you to a trade show. Wow. I mean, it's consulting services for free. Wow, so it's not only airfare, man. <laughs> you yeah. get everything but a nanny. <laughs> it's <a> true. <laughs> that, well, that, that's just incredible. Wow, no wonder we're increasing exports if we're that's doing true. stuff like that. It's true. Well, in North Carolina, we've increased our exports for the past five years, $2 billion every year. $2 billion every year? Yes. God, I mean, that, that sounds like a lot more than what the whole country's doing to me. <laughs> we're, we're pretty excited. And I mean, yeah. these, are, these are small companies that are finding opportunities and finding huh. success. So if they can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, wow. And so people have never done it before, don't even know how to spell overseas. They can come to your office and you walk up through. God. And so like when you go to another country, they're for clients, you got a place to hang your hat and somebody to help you. huh? That is exactly right. We have physical offices so you can, you can take meetings with your clients. Clients wow. in our offices. I'll meet our you at the embassy. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. It's it was fantastic service that, and I think that one of our problems in government is we are the worst marketers yes. and we're some of the best kept secrets. Yeah, oh, I believe. Well, I mean, I, I, I used to do this stuff, help Fortune 500 clients find this stuff, you know, and that's why I said, well, oh, they're going to get it with or without me. It's these little guys who don't know. Yeah. That's exactly right. They could yep, play on the same field as these Fortune 500. Yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. Yep. When you think about somewhere like China, you know, everybody feels a little sometimes uneasy with China. And yes, there are big challenges mm -hmm. in China, but there are enormous opportunities in China. And so in f the past 10 years, North Carolina exports to China have grown almost 500%. 500%. And that's, yeah. And that's, uh, so that's what I'm saying is that, that, yeah. you know, if, for companies that aren't afraid, there yeah. are opportunities and you can be successful. And so wow. that's the message. Yeah. Wow. I'm studying Chinese now, actually. Ah, great. Yeah. <laughs> I call it my Alzheimer's prevention program. But <laughs> I, I, I'm getting a grant from the Chinese government. Good. They have Confucius Institutes around the country. You we know, have two in North Carolina. Absolutely. Yeah, you have them there, too. Yeah. And actually, they have a, a, a little uh, uh, course, actually, for people want to do business there, too. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah, it's great stuff. Yeah, I know. But, but you, I mean, to help people for understand the system, and you have an office in that country, you get travel money to go over there, you know, marketing help to figure out what the hell to sell where. <laughs> right. yeah. And let me tell you, I'm always amazed. So when I had my company and I called up the North Carolina trade rep in Hong Kong and told him what it was that I did and who I wanted to see, when I arrived in Hong Kong and he picked me up at the hotel, yeah. he, had, he had a full agenda of meetings set up with just the exact kind of people no that I wanted to meet. Kidding. I had no, I was amazed. I mean, really. That, that's phenomenal. I mean, could yeah. you imagine sitting here, hey, I wonder who in China could, you know, buy my stuff. So you're calling somebody there, you know, in the government office, hey, who could buy my stuff? And they line up a half a dozen meetings for you and you land off the plane. I mean, yep. Where the hell are you going to get that? No, no consultant in the United States could do that. <laughs> it's the truth, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it it's seems really to true. me that the embassy and, and being having the the United States government call for an appointment for you is a That's hell of right. a lot better than having some huckster. <laughs> it's so true. Well, I mean, this is the point: is that Chinese have a lot of reverence for government people. Yeah. And you know, you know, there's, there's no such thing as cold calling in China. And right. so my my rep that's been with North Carolina for 25 years. Wow. Uh, is well known and has all wow. the contacts. Wow, he's longer there than the chairman. There. <laughs> yeah, there you, go. you got it. Well, you're a delight. I'm so glad you're working for the government and helping businesses make more money in America. We got to learn this game. <laughs> well, remember, every state has a program like yes. this. 40, 48, I think 49 states and territories got this step grant. So it's oh, available. Everybody's all, got the grant. All states. 
Yes. So they just go like their Office of Economic Development and the state capital, and they'll know, right? Correct. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and sure thank you for that. struggling to make sure we connected. It's awfully no nice. No problem. To thanks know. again. Let me know if yeah. I could help. Thank you. Okay. Thanks Bye. again. Bye. Bye.